See, I haven't gone willingly live in over a year. Well, you're on live now. Morning, everyone. Morning. This is Charlie. Charlie and I in the car. <laughs> We're off to an event, a sound healing event. Yeah. How are you? Um, we want to talk about a couple of things on the drive. And the traffic's an abomination. So, not sure what time we'll get there. Let's see who's logging in. Um, how long have we known each other, Charlie? Uh, God. Um, mm, I was about 17-ish. 17, and what are you now, 28? Yep. Yeah, wow, that's a long time. <laughs> and um, hats off to you, Charlie. I've seen a lot of growth. And today we're off to do a gig with Chosen Family, and they work um, with a really beautiful, non-judgmental community, a lot of uh, gay and trans people, and... Um, proud to say I'm fully supportive of helping them shift. So today's goal is to teach them uh, how to get back in touch with their soul, which happens through getting in touch with nature. Of course, I'm using frequencies, yeah, sound healing. It's a very simple process. Have you found that sound healing works for you, Charlie, yes. not to put you on the spot? Yes. Tell me how it works. Well, I've always been in tune with music, period. So it's just another form of that in a way and it's it's very soothing it can be very draining but that's also toxicity leaving as mm, well i like the way you put that i was thinking about it this morning when i was talking to my friend i was like i've been requested to go to an event so i don't know how i'll be feeling afterwards and they're like i hope it goes well i'm like it always goes well it's just sometimes draining um yeah and, and so the reason is is that sound especially using 432 hertz, which is what we're using here, uh, shifts out emotions. And um, would you say that there's a deeper level of um, emotional emotional layers within the trans and gay community? I would think so. I, I think so. Yeah, that's why I'm sympathetic to it. Because in a way, we're prosecuted kind of like in the old days with the Christians. Yeah, It's yeah. very similar but not many people realise it's very similar in a way because a lot of us are shunned by family, friends yep. and then we're left standing alone yep. wondering what on earth we're going to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, I hear you, I see you. I, I was lucky that my family were like, I don't care what you do, I don't care what you identify as, as like, I'm, we're not going to kick you out or anything. Yeah. We just, you're you and we don't care. Um, I love that, Charlie. Thanks for being so honest. Yeah, I would tend to agree. There's also uh, a much heavier leaning into um, entrapments with the pharmacy and um, and the things that you're kind of conditioned to take regularly. Yes. So there's a hook there, isn't there, as well, yeah. which affects the mental health even further. You know, yeah. things like antidepressants, hormones mm -hmm. and things. Um, and that sometimes doesn't really help the the underlying root of yeah. of the emotional things yeah. going on well, hey i i find and it's kind of a touchy thing yeah that not all trans people are trans they're kind of just mm. trying to find a way to fit what they feel society will accept in a way yeah it's a hard journey I and i'm you. not invalidating anyone saying they're trans or whatever yeah it's yep. just they're trying to find a way to fit yeah. and sometimes they feel they need to change what they are to fit. I've thought about that a lot too, Charlie. Like if you had a mother wound, for example, yeah. and then that leads into a mother womb with mother earth. So you're kind of pulling away into your bedroom out of disconnecting with natural things like yeah. nature. You'd be less likely because of that stigma. You're feeling, a t um, you know, a bit attacked by society, less likely to go outside, less likely to get as much uh, sunshine, less yeah. likely to be in touch with the frequency of earth. Um, less likely, you'd probably be more inclined to be staying up late at night, which yeah. disrupts your circadian rhythm and therein uh, feeds the social anxiety. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with all, all, if not most of that. Because mm. um, during the years, I've been mostly a night owl, sleeping during the day. I hated sunlight for the longest time. Yeah. 
because it hurt my eyes. Yeah. But I think it was more because I was used to the dark. Yes. Rather than, like, now I'll go and sit outside for majority of the day if I have time and I'm not doing anything. And yet those things heal us. Yeah. You know, they're nature's free gifts for healing. And, and what's your journey been like with the, you know, um, psychotherapy and stuff like that? How have you found? Has that helped or has it confused a little? It depends on the therapist. Yeah. Um, I once had a therapist for two or three years and I felt like it was just going in one ear and out the other. I'd get the same line every time I went to see right. her and I was just like, I'm done with this and didn't see another psychologist until the one I'm seeing now. In a snapshot of society, how many people would you think percentage-wise might really see your soul, who you really are, Charlie? I Generously, probably about 5%, if not. I... That's I don't sad. I don't interact with that many people so yeah. it's not really something I think about that often like I know my family just knows. merging yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I don't think my family see what's inside they just see this lazy 28 year old not wanting to do anything gotcha um, whereas I'm emotionally and physically exhausted even if I'm just waking up from a decent hour sleep yeah, yeah um but then I have the people I met at TAFE and they're like oh you're so good we can help you improve but you're good where you are at the moment you just need to work a little bit more and the yeah. it depends um a lot of people can be encouraging oh dear look at this awful accident oh, oh pray for them i don't miss being in a truck no anyway um <laughs> god bless them yes. i pray they're safe that's awful um, um yeah charlie if you i mean i've seen you grow and change yes. and and all all hats off to the effort that you've put into that into finding your joy yeah because when we find our joy we excel you know that joy Joy is a very high frequency, and it's music that brings you joy, yes. right? That's why you blossomed and bloomed when you got yes. into finding your people at TAFE yes. that were into the same things, yes. yeah? Finding a tribe, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, would you say within the trans and gay community there are high statistics for um, childhood abuse? From the people I've spoken to, or my LGBT friends, a lot of them have been through either emotional or physical abuse of some sort, yeah. some even sexual abuse. That's what I've noticed yeah. a pattern for. It's and so, you know, compassion for that, right? Yeah. Yeah, compassion that they're not feeling safe within their body. Yeah. Um, and this is where somatic healing works very well because we're working, um, shifting out frequencies within the body that happened as a child often um, and, and we're comforting the body and saying you can feel safe, you can be in the moment now, you're not the same person yeah. as the one that was trapped when you might have suffered something that made you feel separate. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? No. Well, I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, Put you on the spot here. Yeah. Well, I originally came out as bi in 2008. Mm. I was... 12, turning 13 or 13, turning 14, I can't remember, um, but I was going, I was at high school, and I was the first person I knew, to, I didn't have a word for it at the time, Right. but I was on the phone to my mum, it was during school hours, and I know you're not meant to have your phone during school hours, especially back then, because not everyone had a phone, I had a flip phone at the time, and I was like, mum, I like girls, and she's like, oh, okay, and that's as far as that conversation went. Yeah. yeah. Do you think any of that, if you're honest with yourself, links into the mother wound? You yeah. know, because you you didn't really grow up with your mum in a healthy way, sadly, did you? Yeah. Missed out on an awful lot. It's still not really a healthy relationship. Yeah. So. It's been really hard for you. Yeah. Yeah, but look at you now. You can talk about it. I mean, when we first met, um, you would go into shutdown. Yeah. To mention the word mum. Hey, well, look at you now. I remember one year, it was also 2008, I was going to this uh, program outside of school and my cousin went to a different school but somehow we ended up in the same program where they select like 10 kids from different schools in the Campbelltown area. Yeah. And um, there, we had a Mother's Day thing where we were making things for our mums and 
I just went down the stairs and I bawled. Oh, God bless they, you. They called my dad and they're like, what's up with Charlie? Yeah. And he was like, oh, it's Mother's Day. It's a bit touchy. Yeah. Mother was never around. Yeah. Kind of a thing. Yeah, it must be very painful. And apparent, I didn't know this until recently, like about a year ago. Um, my cousin heard the other kids making fun of me because I was crying because I, and he, um, stuck up for me and yeah. he's autistic and ADHD oh, and bless. stuff. And he, he was like, no one's picking on my family like that for yeah. something they can't control. That's nice. When we're talking vibrationally, shame is one of the lowest vibrations. Yeah. And I noticed, I can't help but see the patterns and have compassion for that. Yeah. Um, the exciting thing is. And I say this for the Christians watching that might have a very black and white viewpoint on this. Who pushes Jezebel out the window? They'll be the eunuchs. Watch this space. I love you guys. Thanks for logging in. And thank you, Charlie, for having the courage to share. You're a beautiful soul. I see your soul. Yeah, we're not the body, any of us. We're the soul within. So have a great day, guys. Thanks for logging in. I hope this helps open your mind to be compassionate to everyone you meet because everybody has a very difficult journey that you're not aware of. Just be loving, compassionate, and inclusive. The rest is God's business. Hey, see you guys. Bye. Bye. Just press the X.